do, what are we doing here? Uh, I mentioned earlier to you today about the old Muscle Shoals Canal and a lot of the uh, old river locks. What we're doing here, this is what we call Lock 6. It's one of the five submerged locks on Wilson Lake. And uh, I'm going to drive over at the unit right quick and just show you what it looks like. Um, right now, we're coming up over an old railroad bed. It'll pop back up there just a second. This is an old railroad bed that ran along the edge of the canal. Uh, we're coming up on the hump here. And here in just a second, you're actually going to see the canal and the old lock gates. We're going up to the top of it. Notice we're in 35 foot of water. 33, and now we've dropped off the canal. This is the old fence railing that ran down the canal. This is the old gate. They left the gates open. We're at the very head of the canal. It's running upstream, downstream. We're going across it. And you can see we're 48 feet down in the bottom. Uh, the catfish typically stay down in the bottom of this thing. And we're gonna come up on the other side. If you watch the depth here, it's only about 45, 50 foot wide. We're at 48, bam, we're back to 30. And you can see the gate on this side. So what I try to do is anchor out here on the sides up on top and throw over in it, or we'll get in the middle and cast over to the side and pull our baits off and let them fall vertically. And you can barely see these specks. That's catfish all along those gates. And this is one of the best structures on Wilson Lake for catching just small eating size catfish. Occasionally you'll catch a good one, but uh, they're great structures for catching good eating size fish. All right, now what's that stuff on top right there? This is actually just some turbulence where I took it out of gear right here, but a lot of times you'll see schools of bait here, but that's just a little bit of turbulence I call for the motor. 